I was going to do anything I could do to protect my friend. And I was still ready to do anything I could to protect him. I was going to do anything I could do to protect my friend. And I was still ready to do anything I could to protect him. I mean, it's, you know, it's been happening yeah. for a while. Um, we were just, I just received another death threat last night, you know. We were just, I just received another death threat last night, you know. Do you believe she bears partial responsibility for what you say happened to you? Yeah, there absolutely is. There absolutely is responsibility at my mother's door. Yeah, there absolutely is. There absolutely is responsibility at my mother's door. Yeah, there absolutely is. There absolutely is responsibility at my mother's door. And then within a week or so after that, I received a subpoena to testify. And as far as making anybody testify, I, I would I would love for uh, Wade Robson to show me the subpoena he never got. I simply called him and and told him, listen, we need to get you up there by such and such a date. And then within a week or so after that, I received a subpoena to testify. Did Michael Jackson ever touch you inappropriately? No. Not at all. But this is the truth now. This is the truth. That Michael sexually abused me for seven years. Um, this is the truth. That Michael sexually abused me for seven years. Um, and the sexual abuse included um, fondling, you know, touching, my entire body and my penis. Yeah. He also um, <clears throat> attempted to penetrate me mm. anally when I was 14. That was one of the last sexual abuse experiences we had. Do you know how many times Michael Jackson abused you? Well, it's countless. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, countless. It's no way to uh, every every time I was with him every single time I stayed the night with him um, he abused me um, I think that was the yeah same I mean James. I was with him alone for long periods of time times over many years and it was constant so that is hundreds and hundreds of times mm -hmm. yeah His responsibility at the door of all the pe other people, all the other employees that were around Michael and me and James all the time that looked the other way. Um, I think. All the pe other people, all the other employees that were around Michael and me and James all the time that looked the other way. Um, I think there's maids mm -hmm. and there's cooks and there's security guards mm -hmm. everywhere. And none of them appear to be. I think to speak to that too, I mean, you can correct me if, if I'm wrong, but you know, Michael, he does, he, he makes a wedge between you and your parents and he, he isolates you from everybody else. And so, and then at the same time when you're being abused, a part of you is dying. Down there and, you know, with his, his mouth on, on, on my, you know, seven-year-old penis, you know, with his, his mouth on, on, on my, you know, seven-year-old penis. Um, 
us, 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 you know? Us. Um, and, you know, you're special and, you know, as well as, you know, we are not gay. We just love each other, and this is how you show your love. He would say to you, we're not gay? Yeah. Did you I, even know what that meant as a little kid? We're actually, not gay. yeah. I mean, you at, did. as soon as the abuse started, I had this question of, does this mean I'm gay now? That the abuse is, when the abuse started on tour? You know, we are not gay. We just love each other, and this is how we show love. He would say to you, we're not gay? Yeah. Did I, you even know what that meant as a little kid? We're actually, not gay. yeah. I mean, at, did. as soon as the abuse started, I had this question of, does this mean I'm gay now? That the abuse is, when the abuse started on tour? Now, does this mean I'm gay now? That the abuse is when the abuse started on tour? Was that the first time you knew there was a Wade? I knew of Wade. I had met Wade twice when we were kids. We met on the, the set of the jam video. And then Michael had a weekend at Neverland uh, with us and a few other kids. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew of Wade and, and, you know, I felt, you know, he was great. He was nice. So I got along with him as a, as a little kid, but that, that's it. Okay. So when. Of was that the first time you knew there was a Wade? I knew of Wade. I had met Wade twice when we were kids. We met on the, the set of the jam video. And then Michael had a weekend at Neverland uh, with us and a few other kids. Mm -hmm. So I, I knew of Wade and, and, you know, I felt, you know, he was great. He was nice. So I got along with him as a, as a little kid, but that, that's it. Okay. So when I have. You have forgiven I yourself. I have forgiven myself. Yeah. Yeah. Such a striking moment when you said in the film, James, that um, you had a marriage ceremony with Michael Jackson with rings and handwritten vows. And once you said vows, you say you were married. You had marriage vows and you have rings. Right. 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 You had marriage vows and you have rings. Right. 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 And it feels good. You're seven years old and someone is stroking your ass. It feels good. Right. Even though you don't have a name for what that is, it feels good.
I knew of Wade. I had met Wade twice when we were kids. We met on the, the set of the Jam video. And, you know, I felt, you know, he was great. He was nice. So I got along with him as a, as a little kid, but that, that's it. Okay. Um, you know, I was suffering for many years um, from symptoms and I, I didn't know where they were coming from. Um, and hearing Wade come out uh, made me realize that there was a reason for, for how I was feeling. Um, and that gave me hope in a sense that if you know what's causing it, then you can begin the path of doing something about it. If there's something you want to say to us, but maybe you can't say it right now, you might want to make some kind of a signal by blinking your eyes a few times, something like that. That's something you could do safely. I was uh, sexually abused from the age of 10 until around 14, and the abuse was very similar to Wade's. Um, starts with him teaching you how to masturbate. He introduced me to masturbation. Introduced me to masturbation, and that's how it started. It's showing you this, this new thing that everybody does, and it'll change your life. He set it up like, I'm going to show you something that everybody does and you'll really enjoy it. Um, and you're, then you start French kissing. He said, I taught him how to do that. Um, and then, then you start kissing and he said, I taught him how to French kiss. And French kissing, he said, I introduced that to him. And then oral sex starts. Um, and then it moves on to oral sex. And then finally, like, kissing the genitals. He also liked to have his nipples rubbed. Yeah. He would want me to suck on his nipples and then he would f*** himself. starts with him teaching you how to masturbate um, and you're, then you start French kissing. He said, I taught him how to do that. And then oral sex starts. He also liked to have his nipples rubbed. Yeah. And that's why they tried to pull some over-the-top scenarios and go as graphic as they could because they had to sell you on something. Um, and, and I have to be honest with you, like I said, people don't know Wade. And there were a lot of times I found him, in my opinion, trying not to laugh. When somebody else would say, hey, look at him, he's trying not to cry. No, Wade's trying not to laugh because he knows what he's saying is so absolutely ridiculous. You saw that. Absolutely. 100%. You, knowing him the way you do, you said he's actually trying not to laugh here. 100%. Is there something you remember in particular that he said or just in general? Specifically, I remember thinking that when he was referencing as a young boy, two different instances. As a, a young boy, he was on all fours and he was told to spread his his.
basically, and my uncle, I, the look on his face from somebody that knows him, knows that he, this was not a serious statement that he was saying, but he was able to sell that because people don't know him. And a lot of people don't know my uncle, so they look at him as some Mickey Mouse character. He's not a real person to a lot of people. And so it was easy to just swallow what Wade was saying. of Michael doing it to my son and that was the first time that that was the first time that those kind of thoughts in relation to Michael ever had an extremely negative scary um, emotional reaction in me mm -hmm. right I think it was a Friday Michael invited us to Neverland that weekend. I think it was a Friday that we, that we met. Man, I wish, I wish it could have been different. Gosh, I wish it was different. You know, I wish that I could have been ready. You know, mm -hmm. um, I wish that I was ready. To give Jordan, to give Gavin Arvizo, I wish that I could have helped Gavin Arvizo, some validation and some sense of justice, um, receive some justice and some validation, and to be able to play a role in stopping Michael at that point from abusing however many other kids he abused after that. And I wish that I could have played a role in, at that point, stopping Michael mm -hmm. from abusing however many other kids he did after that. I think people need to understand that just doesn't happen um, right away. It kind of shows how, you know, Michael groomed the world as well. But she was groomed, you know, and the, and the, the world was groomed as well. Did. As soon as the abuse started, I had this question of, does this mean I'm gay now? That the abuse is, when the abuse started on tour? But he was subjected to a thorough investigation which included a surprise raid of Neverland and other properties, as well as a jury trial, where Michael was found to be completely innocent. The reaction of the moms in the first part of Leaving Neverland made no sense to me. And I'm a big believer in looking at the moms and the girlfriends of sex abuse uh, allegations, especially by men. And the thing about the moms that caught my attention right off the bat was, wait a minute, why are you speaking at the beginning of this documentary with a smile and in a joyful fashion about Michael Jackson and how it is that you came to know him and your relationship with him. How does that make any sense whatsoever? Same with James Safechuck's mom, who did this horrible acting job pretending that she was happy when Michael Jackson died, even though there's no evidence, even by James's own story, that she would have known at that time that Michael Jackson had abused her son or was a sexual abuser at all. He was a pedophile. You know, the word says it all, pedophile.
He was a pedophile. So the mom's reactions make no sense at all. And that was the first thing that made me go, okay, this could very well be bullshit. And Joy asked me to fast forward through the, the graphic descriptions of, of the sex. Because? Uh, because she said she couldn't handle it. She, it would be too much for her and she wasn't ready to come to terms with that. She wasn't ready to hear it. Mm. Because? Uh, because she... Because? Because she said she couldn't handle it. I try, I try to have sympathy for her because she was groomed. Yeah, and I'm not letting her off the hook. Yeah. But she was groomed. You know, and, the, and the, the world was groomed as well. You said, you said something really great at the Sundance premiere when, when in the Q&A on stage. You said, forgiveness is, is not a line that you cross. It's a road that you take. Yeah. And, yeah. And I thought, oh, good. 